In this demonstration, we are going to look at how to use Applac Transient Simulator in Microwave Office to perform time domain analysis. Here I have a standard capacitor element and a pulse source connected to the input of the element. We are going to look at the waveforms at the input and output using Applac Transient Simulator. For transient simulation, we will need to set up the start and stop times and the simulation time step. I will open Options, Default Circuit Options and go to the Transient tab. We can either use HP settings and set the periods to be simulated. If you use HP settings, the length of the period is taken from the project frequencies. Or we can set the start time and the stop time and time step manually. I will use the manual way and set the start time to 0, stop time to 4 nanoseconds and time step to 0 0.01 nanoseconds. This means that we have 400 simulation points. Next I will add waveform measurements. We are going to use the V-time measurement, which is found under nonlinear voltage V-time. And in order to enable the transient simulation, we will choose Applac Tran as the simulator. I will add measurements for port 1 and port 2. And here we can see the waveforms of the signal. Many times we may want to use a frequency domain model, like an S-parameter file. Frequency domain models can't usually be simulated in time domain. However, in Microwave Office we can do this using a technique called Rational Approximation. Rational Approximation creates an equivalent circuit from the frequency domain model by decomposing the model into poles and zeros. This equivalent model can then be simulated in time domain. Note that rational approximation is only valid for passive models. To demonstrate this approach, I will simulate the waveforms of a capacitor model with S parameters. Here you can see the S parameters of a real ATC device. I will add the capacitor S parameter model into the schematic and copy the signal source and add another port. In order to use the rational approximation, we will need to go to the properties of the element and into model options tab. Under rational approximation, fitting to S parameters, we need to choose enforce passivity everywhere. I will then add measurements for this device. And simulate. Now we can see the waveforms of both the capacitor model and the capacitor model by S parameters. You can also observe the overshoot caused by a serious inductance in the real device. Finally, let me show you Applac Transient Simulator used for a more advanced example. Transient simulators are good for observing oscillator waveforms. So let's look at an oscillator example. Here we have a PJT oscillator and I will simulate it using Applac Transient Simulator. We are going to look at the waveforms of the oscillator and in this window you can see the full output waveform of the oscillator and here, is, here are the last few periods of the signal from which we could also calculate the oscillation frequency.
This ends our demonstration how to use Aplac Transient Simulator for time domain analysis in Microwave Office.